everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and in this video uh, we're going to flip through this travel album. We took a trip to Legoland and on the way we stopped at the Philadelphia Zoo and the plan was that when we came back down south we were going to go to the Franklin Museum but we were so beat that we only have those two. Um, this is a scrapbook.com album. They're pretty good. I really like them. This is a 9 by 12. This is one of the lanyards we got in a few of the activities that we'll show later. There's going to be a little bit of glare in this video and I'm sorry about that. But this is my second time filming it because when I started doing the, the flip through, I noticed the glare and I decided to turn off the lights. I didn't see that... It barely showed any color and it just looked so sad that I just decided to do the flip through again. So this first uh, eight and a half by 11 layout is with papers from I believe the collection or the kit is called Travelogue uh, from Citrus Twist Kits. And I actually use the digital paper to print this in a letter size page because usually their papers uh, from their kits are six by eight. So all of these items are from Citrus Twist Kits. I added two little photos. And then I cut the, the sides with a uh, deco scissor that I know they're out, but honestly, this is one of my favorite ones and it's from this course. And I know that usually, sorry about the noise. I know that usually they suck. So I'm very aware, no, not this one or this one. Yes, it's this one, the mini pinking scissor. Um, so I just use that one to cut to the size to make it look like a ticket. This I just freehanded with a pencil and then, and then I use a uh, thread. And I think that the thread that I use is from the Amy Tangerine kits. I still have a few of her sewing kits. I really loved those back in the day. All the alphas, the stamps are from Citrus Twist kits. And here on the back, we have the Philadelphia Zoo map. And it kind of helped me with a little bit of the journaling. We went in 2022, and as you know, I am always behind. I wish I... I see so many crafters are so fast. My friend Patty, when she was alive, she was... I, I used to tell her, can you make my albums? Well, I made one, she would make like five. And this is basically the intro page, just driving there. I have like uh, at least five uh, process videos for this album. I think this is one of them. I was a guest designer for October of last year for Studio Calico. And this is this was the October kit. I honestly can't remember the, the name of the kit. And I kind of wish that I did some of these, uh, you know, it may process videos, but the reality is that I wanted to finish the album. So I just worked through it during the nights, which I usually don't film during the night because the lighting is so bad. So I just powered through the album and I finished it. So, and that's how I finished Project, 20, uh, Project Life 2021. So... And I, I like filming, but the reality is that setting up the camera, then making sure I'm in frame, that I have the products, it takes up a lot of time rather than just making and not being aware of a camera and having to take photos and do all that. So when I finish a project, I think that that's the approach that I'm going to take. I love uh, the stamping that I did here. I used a Studio Calico stamp I think it's called like Cess the Life or You're the Cess I think it's called can't remember for which kit but if you can see it I used 
this ink, which is from Stamping Up. In I don't think you can buy Stamping Up from like a, from Scribble.com. I checked, but I used this one, and I love this color so much. If you have a link for this, I I want to get like a full size. Now, this circle and this element right here, these trees are from Feed Your Craft. It was a, an autumn kit designed by In a Creative Bubble. And then we have pictures of lemurs here. I'm trying to play with the with the glare, so sorry about that. These are from a wonder kit from Studio Calico. I love those stickers. And I tried to keep it simple too because I wanted to finish this so I can move on to December daily. I, I made it simple and that's, you know, relative <laughs> that you depend, that depends on you how you want something to be simple, but I am an over embellisher, so scaling back, it's kind of hard for me. I love an embellishment, I, I love colors, which is what I'm redoing this video because honestly, the other video missed all the cute colors, even in the animals. And I was not happy. So these alphas are from Snap, from Simple Stories, and I feel like I should sew through them. Although, I think the back, yep, oh no, yeah, I can't sew through them. I might put, like, extra adhesive on them or something, because I, sometimes I feel like they lift off. And there are a few albums where letters have fallen, so. Okay, and these, I use a bunch of these, and I use them all. I'm kind of bummed the Studio Calico doesn't have them anymore. I believe they were, no, they were not from a kid. I bought them by themselves. And this sticker is an old one from Freckle Fawn. And it's been a while since I bought anything from Freckle Fawn. It has, it had three stickers. It had the Americas, uh, Europe, and Africa, and then Another one that had Asia and Australia. So I thought that I used two of them in this album. This is the first one and I really love how it came out. And I used a lot of kits that were fall-ish or had like warm colors. And what I did was like grab these um these kits from studio calico and i tried to use them as much as i could that way i could work easy and when i was done with one or two pages i would put it away and grab another one so that helped the process and this is just a quote that came in one of the kits it also comes in the 6x8 paper, so you can pause it and read it if you want to, but it's about moments. And again, this one is super simple. Like, I only embellish two cards, and this one has, like, four embellishments. And I love this alpha, the, the nail alpha, from Studio Calico. If you're going to get something from them in these last sales. I would recommend those. Then we had this card in one of the kits. I can't remember which one, but I stamped Big Cats with a Citrus Twist Kit stamp, and it's so good. Look how well that stamp. And I have a few tips for, for stamping. I always mention them but I have specific December daily video. What I do when a stamp is new is that I use this Dumbo Mono Plastic Eraser. It doesn't matter the size. I do recommend the white one because once I did it with the black 
and a few of the eraser goodies stuck to the stamp and then I could see them. So I erase the stamp, I put ink on it, I clean it, and then it's ready to use. And the photos are pretty busy, so I didn't want to add too much to it. I only added like a little washi, a washi dot, and little word stickers to it. And this, they had like a little train in there. It's not that awesome. It's not that cold. It's pretty meh. Um, so if you go there, you don't have to spend money on that. It was okay. It was fine. But it's called the Septa PX Express. So that's why I added that here. These circle cork embellishments are also from Freckle Fawn. And so far, these are all, except uh, the the Citrus Twist Kids um, cover, everything else is from Studio Calico. I will try to link the kits that I used. A bunch of them are $10, and they're also available uh, digitally. You can buy the whole digital kit for $5, so that's a pretty good deal. And then they had a $1 sale, so just so you know. And I love these photos so much that I didn't want to cover any of them. And this was another uh, photo that I was bummed that you couldn't see that well. The beautiful colors. It was October and it was beautiful. And this is a very old leather embellishment from Studio Calico. So I just put that there and I added some stamping and washi dots. And here I use a pink lemonade stamp first, not the stamp, sorry, the ink. And you can see like a shadow and it didn't show up too well. So then I use Poppy on top and I love how that turned out. And here we have the red panda photos. The slogan of the Philadelphia Zoo is where the animals move around you. So I loved adding that there. I do wish that I added that maybe here, but I didn't know how it was, was going to fit. I think it would have covered the, where the animals would have covered the uh, lemur. I could have started here and then finished there, but I'm happy with how this turned out. Um... So the Philadelphia Zoo has these tunnels that are like cage tunnels where animals can walk through and my daughter was excited because she got to see the red panda's uh, toe beans. But in the promo, they show a tiger. And honestly, I, I wasn't feeling just about that because my intrusive thoughts were like, the cage tunnel is going to collapse. And the tiger's gonna eat you, but the panda is way cuter, way safer. <laughs> and here is the other uh, uh, freckle fawn. I keep wanting to switch between lawn fawn and freckle fawn. Freckle fawn, all the stickers that are uh, cork, these two uh, freckle fawn. So the giraffes were so good looking. They were excellent models. Look at that. And that's from my cell phone because I, I mean, my cell phone has a pretty good camera. But I wasn't going to carry around a big camera. But these giraffes are so good looking. They're so majestic. They're, they're adorable. And in that area, that area was called the African Plains. The one with the giraffes, the, um, my, the rhinos back here, uh, the hippos, and the zebras. So the whole cast of Madagascar was there, and it was, it was really nice. And it was also a really good day because I hate going to the zoo on summer, and then the animals are just, like, miserable. So that day they were all, like, chilling, and there wasn't, they didn't have uh, too much people there, so I enjoyed that.
And I love how this card came out. So I made a lot of filler cards. I wasn't going to journal in every single spread because it's a bit of overkill. And in here I wanted to use something more Halloween-y since we had uh, pumpkins going on and we have these great bears that that's kind of morbid but it has a point okay so these items except these are from studio calico these two are from doodle bug this paper and this one is also from scrapbook.com then this is from studio calico this is just stickers that i got from target then I had these awesome little word stickers that are Halloween related. Those are from uh, Studio Calico. And this is just a simple card with a little cluster at the top. I use the word chilling because, you know, penguins. And on this side, it had a graveyard with animals that are extinct, and they had the year. So in 2016, the Bramble Cat, I don't know what it says there. I'm so blind. And, but yeah, there's a orangutan that might be extinct too because they also have uh animals that are in danger and then they have a year and a question mark so gotta treat our earth a little better so we don't so we all get to live on earth this is also from scrapbook.com and I never embellished this paper because it's so intricate and so cute. It just doesn't need it. I never want to cover anything from it. And these I also got from Target. And here I have the tickets to the zoo and also for the train thing. And I bought a pin with a little giraffe on it, and I just kept the tag. And then we had Caribbean flamingos. They were so pretty. They were getting bullied by a goose, and it was really funny because this one goose was chasing a whole flock and make them, making them afraid of their life. And I didn't glue down the ticket. What I did was I put this paper clip, I held that in place with some washi tape, and then I just put the the tickets in there. I could have written a little bit of like journaling, but I thought it was it was fine. So that's a trick if you don't want to do something down. If it has like a little hole like the like the pin on the, next to it, you can also use a brad. Like here, instead of using a stapler, you can put a brad. That way you can swivel that. And this was a fountain. And I bought or borrowed this from a card. I think that's all it had or it had something around it. But I just combine it to um, to make a new card. And then I stamp over here again. I'm obsessed with this. If you see this again multiple times, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I really like it. And then this one had a card and I had this sticker. So I thought that it was... A good idea to put it there and they were at the fountain so I wrote make a wish these were the last photos 
uh, before we drove to New York. So I like to add these marker pages with the geotags we got in some light traffic. And then the next day, that day we arrived at the hotel. So next day we could go to Legoland. And I have a process video for these. And this is using the Syncopation Designs Halloween collection. I'm going to link it below because uh, honestly, it's really, really cute. I didn't use that many Halloween items because there's not that many Halloween pages. And then I added this one because I love these photos and I was like a 3 by 4 doesn't do justice to them. So I'm going to print a few photos in 4 by 6 So right here we have uh, Frankenstein. And we have Dr. That would be Dr. Frankenstein, a little creature. So I decided to uh, use that sticker from Doodlebug. And I'm not sure if this is from Yay Paper, which is... Uh, the lady that, that does the mask love, Amber G. I forgot her last name. I know it's with G. But yeah, she has like some printables that are super cute. These papers are from Doodlebug. And this black one too. I just use a die to cut a little uh, doily. These alphas are from Citrus Twist Kits. And I just thought that this Lego girl looked like Layla. <laughs> okay, and the this is one of our favorite family pictures. And she was an octoling from the game Splatoon. I don't know if you heard of that game, but that hat that she has on is supposed to be like tentacles. And this paper also from Yay Paper. And this one is from, in the circle, from Doodle Bug. These are die cuts. This is from Studio Calico, and they have those for like 10 cents. And yeah. Did I show this closely? So. Again, I'm going to use a lot of those nail alphas. These ones are in orange. And I love these big pumpkins. Yeah, and there was a lady that gave my, my daughter the evil eye because she looked older. So if you see a kid in costume, well, don't be a jerk. Like they might just look older. She was 13 then, but she had a costume that was like put together with other things. It's supposed to be a bee from the Cookie Run Kingdom game. So here's a close up of the creature. And this is yet another uh, creature die cut. I have a few of those and I'm excited. And this was like a grandma. <laughs> And this one is super simple. I only stamp a little in this card. And then here I just added a sticker, a little word sticker that is like vellum. And then a piece of pattern paper that was just laying around. And here finally we have a little bit of uh, journaling. I added lots of colors. It's kind of reflected the flowers. I just saw this card and I knew that I wanted to use it here. But I wanted to add a title or, or something to it. And then I saw the, the 2 by 2 squares and I thought that that was great for that. Okay, and I am obsessed with this sticker sneezing sort of technique. 
almost all of those stickers are from Pipsticks. I love Pipsticks. If you haven't bought anything from them, maybe ask for it for Christmas. They have lots of cool stuff. And we tried to win something, anything, and we didn't. We sucked. And usually my husband is pretty good at that, so I don't know. So just two filler cards, a little bit of journaling. This one's kind of a mix, a little bit of journaling, a little bit of embellishing. In this game, we all played and we all sucked. And this was really funny, so I added LOL. And here I just stamped in a few corners in the red and the poppy and black. And uh, there was, so we got this from a driving area. It's called Legoland Driving School. And now I wish that I added that as a title somewhere. Maybe I can add it here. You know what? I am complicating my life. This album is done. Do you see why it takes me so long to finish projects? So I'm always like, what can I add? It's done, okay? It's... I might do it. Who, who knows? Sorry <laughs> if I end up doing it. And uh, they get driver's license. And I didn't glue it down with... Uh, my regular adhesive, I use a glue dot, that way it's a little bit easier to remove. So we got my oldest and my little one. And this card is full of Pipstick stickers and I wanted to get a car that would fit there and I got that one. And it's kind of like a clunky card so it's kind of perfect for this. This is a little journaling of about how it felt to see them drive. I already called my youngest, so my old my husband has to teach my oldest how to drive. But to be fair, whenever I get in my car, I go through the steps with them. So I I did something. <laughs> she just she was terrible at it, <laughs> and it was a game. So I I'm gonna have to get them. One of those stickers that says like new driver and i just added this it is all fun and games this card was in one of the kits and here i just wanted to sticker sneeze in a less chaotic way and this is really cool And these are pictures from Miniland. So again, lots of um, filler cards. And this is a card that I I use stickers. A few of those, most of them are from Pipstick. These little happy faces are from a Target uh, sticker book. I just cut these out. That way I have them in my, I use all the time sticker plus the drawer. I have a little um, shaker pocket and I had this one done. I just added a little bit of orange because both of the kids had uh, orange in their costumes. So I just had this ready and then I added a little bit of orange. I also added these vellum faces and some of them are looking back. Some of them are looking forward. That way, you know, it doesn't matter what side of the page you're looking at, you get a few of them looking at you. So I did a little bit of journaling about Miniland simple but busy card and this was the back of this card so I just added this I wanted to add other stuff like maybe washi tape or something but I didn't so and then we have another filler card I just love 
adding a bunch of colors. This was the C and then they would jump on a pad and the band would start to move. So that was pretty cool. And then uh, this was the White House and they had super tiny pumpkins back there. I thought that this one was like travel-ish theme so it would go well with the rest of the photos and also it has a, a bunch of colors so it kind of fit with the whole thing. This is Coney Island. In this card I just wanted to add these two clusters of stickers in a few stamping and then I kept adding and adding and adding so I showed this one on my Instagram already just that card and this is why that day I really wanted to take a picture of that card because I love how it turned out but the light wasn't cooperating and I had to it took me like almost 20 minutes to get a good photo to edit it to post it on Instagram and I was like you see that uh, how little things like taking all the photos taking everything off the page protector getting the lighting right editing it takes off uh, a long time so if you want to do a project and I'm already a slow person so it takes me way longer so they had a little pride parade there and I use this sticker from Pip Sticks, and these two items are from Tracy Reed. And the alphas are nail but in black. I thought it was very cute, and I like that the little flag said, everyone is awesome, so that's what I copied that in there if you can't see it too well. It's so tiny. And here... In the Bronx, you can, uh, it had a, a disc that you would turn, and then the dancers in the Bronx would dance. And I thought that was very cute, and just, I added these cassettes to show them, and more clusters of stickers. And in here, same thing happened. I was like, I'm going to add the little faces. And I was like, but what if I add also a little rainbow? And then I, I went over more. <laughs> And then this is the last page and I journal about uh, going back home and skipping the Institute, the Franklin Institute for another day in here because I did this page first and then I was like, oh, I forgot to journal about going home. So this one is super simple. The only two things I did was add this tiny cluster here and then this, this die cut is from it's not from Sussex it's another company I can't remember this tiny Kuji board uh, planchard it's from Zarina V and the sticker is an old one from uh, Ellie Studio I think and then these are in the papers from Doodlebug which I've mentioned the whole video why am I struggling? And then these alphas are from uh, Sudacalico. So here at the end, I have the I have the maps. So this is for Legoland in general. This one is the Halloween one, which also I have open here. And then I have one of the cards, and I thought about moving this over here, but I haven't decided yet. I think I'm going to leave it as it is. I do have to, like, write on the side what this album is, and they got little treat bags so they can put the candy they were collecting in there. And on the other side, there's a witch. We have two kids that did the driving thing, so uh, we have two of these. And my daughter had to write a little story for school, a realistic uh, uh, a narrative essay about something. So she wrote about uh, our trip to the zoo and Legoland and 
this is our car actually this is my car and it says welcome and then she added like a little story to it and some pictures so it's nice to add another perspective that is not mine and how she saw the the events of the day how it happened in her eyes so i, I loved having that there and really when she wrote it i was like oh that's going to the album okay so um there's a whole playlist for this i don't have that many like i said i think i have like five process videos uh, I'm going to add this flip through to that playlist. That way, if you want to watch the whole thing, you can go there. It's easier for you. If you have any questions, any products I miss, uh, anything about the process or anything, I will gladly answer your question. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.